Hey guys, Dave from Wolfhard Hobbying here, and today we're going to take a look at how I paint bone. Um, to serve as an example here, we're going to use the turret from my Space Wolves Predator. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, got a lot of uh, skulls and bones and things like that. Uh, so it's going to be a good example of how uh, I go about doing this. Um, so to get us started with our base color, we're coming in with Zandri Dust. Um, this is a very nice uh, warm brown uh, and it's a good base coat uh, to start with so uh, with anything I you could use a large base coat brush here but I'm using a smaller brush just so that I can make sure I get in all the uh, crevices of that orc skull the bones uh, the little human skulls there as well but pretty straightforward um, base coating the entirety of all the bone that we uh, will be painting. Now if you want to go with more of a bleached bone look like uh, kind of a whiter uh, bone look then I would probably start with um, maybe a screaming skull and then uh, working your way up to a white from there but I want to go with more of a natural bone color kind of dirty uh, not bleached by the sun or anything like that so Zandri dust is the best um, base color I've used as it's not too dark of a brown but uh, it uh, stays within that kind of yellow um, beige spectrum which is good for bone so as you can see here just finishing up the base coat um, on these bones uh, lots of bone to work with here um, but this uh, the same idea can be applied to um, skulls on other space marines or uh, other types of models uh, that you want a bone effect to go on but that's pretty much about it you just want to get a good uh, base coat uh, probably take about two coats because uh, I do recommend when you're working with bone and you want to get a nice bone color to um, uh, work in a thin state so that you get a very smooth base coat. So this does take me two or three coats I believe to go over top of the blue primer that's still on there. But uh, our next step is we're going to come in with uh, Agrax Earthshade and we're going to do a very heavy wash actually uh, on the model. Not too heavy that it pulls up in areas but uh, we want a very dark tinting of the Zandri dust uh, and Agrax Earthshade really gives it a nice brown color it brings them it, just a little darker uh, brown than uh, originally what it is and you want to work this into all the crevices uh, the spaces in between uh, as it's going to help serve us um, as kind of a guideline on where to start our layering highlights um, so again you want to get uh, a good coverage um, maintain your brush strokes in the same way you don't want to see any of the brush strokes as that will kind of ruin the effect um, you could also thin out the wash and do it in a couple layers uh, to get the right color that you want but me I'm just doing it straight out of the pot in one uh, heavy wash I guess so as you can see it brings out a lot of the details in the skulls and those bones there so our first highlight is going to be of Ushabti bone um, we're pretty much going to be going over a lot of the skulls uh, with this color um, and leaving the darker Zandri dust and Agrax color in the recesses so along this skull here uh, of the orc, you are just going to do kind of the top brow. Uh, we're going to do on top of the head, as well as we're going to do some edge highlighting on some of the other places that uh, would uh, see less dirt and stuff collect. Um, this is not actually like a highlight to show where our light source is coming from. This is just to bring us into the color that we want. 
Uh, you could come back in with Xandri Dust and then just use this to highlight up if you wanted a dirtier looking skull. Um, but I didn't really want it that dirty, so that's why I'm coming in with the Ushab T Bone. Uh, and we're just going to uh, go over all the bone parts uh, with this color and um, again using where the um, the Agrax Earthshade didn't uh, stick to the model uh, we're gonna paint with the Shabti bone so as you can see here it brightens up the um, the bone color a lot and brings it back into that uh, kind of color. Again, you could start with a Screaming Skull and then do a light Agrax or Shade Wash and then uh, highlight up into a white if you wanted a bleached look, but I like this natural kind of dirty bone look. So as you can see uh, with the skulls, um, I layered over top. Now you could dry brush all this, but you would probably miss a lot of details in those skulls. That's why with uh, this type of technique, I like to use a layering style as uh, it gives you a lot of depth um, on the battlefield so that your opponent can see those skulls from a distance, which looks really cool. So next we're going to come in uh, with Screaming Skull. And this is going to be uh, a quick edge highlight. Uh, nothing uh, too fancy with this. Uh, picking out our high points and just uh, layering on from there. Uh, this is going to be the highlight to kind of show where our light source is coming from. So I'm kind of having it come at the, from the top at an angle, which I usually do for a lot of my uh, models. So we're going to keep it with that as that's my painting style so uh, if you like to have more of a deliberate light source uh, or you want to go with a zenithal style highlight well then your lights gonna be coming straight from the top so you would only be highlighting the tops of the skulls and the tops of those femurs or um, whatever they happen to be so just picking the tops here and uh, more just kind of just where I want it to show a lot more that hey this is a skull uh, and where you can get a lot of the details it's very subtle highlight and that's kind of what we want we don't want it to be too stark or too uh, contrasty as I don't want this um, bone motif or whatever it happens to be uh, to take over the entirety of the model so I want very subtle highlights um, I just wanted to add to the model instead of taking over. So as you can see here, I've gone through and I've highlighted all the bone. Um, it's not a stark highlight. Uh, you're not going to see a big color differentiation, um, but that's kind of what we want. We want very subtle highlights uh, on the motif here. Again, you could dry brush this to get uh, a smoother transition in the skulls, but um, I don't think you would get a lot of the detail in the smaller skulls um, so it's all personal preference um, as you can kind of see here on the back of the orc skull you can kind of see some uh, color separation but that's it guys uh, I want to thank you all for watching the video um, if you have any suggestions on how to go about painting bone in a different way please leave them in the comments section below if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button um, and the like share with your friends I will have a link to my Facebook account and my patreon account in the video description below so if you'd like to hop on to either of those and show some support uh, there that'd be much appreciated uh, again guys I want to thank you for watching the video and have yourselves a great day